All right, guys, so we talked a little bit about this before, but I just want to give you guys an overview of what the goals are when we're in top half guard. And uh, as I mentioned a little bit earlier, half guard could be a great position for me as the passing uh, player, but it could also be a really good position for the bottom person as the guard player. Um, and each person has to meet a certain criteria. Um, each person's looking to achieve certain little goals that can make um, the position better for them and worse for their opponent and vice versa. Okay, so as the top player, I'm looking to uh, make certain things happen that are going to make that position more favorable for me. Um, and so basically the rundown of what we need is we need a one, we need to get over our training partner's knees and we need to control their head and shoulders, okay? The second thing, once we do that, is that we need to dominate the far shoulder and hip. So we want to take the far shoulder and hip and we want to pin it to the floor, okay? He wants the far shoulder and hip coming off the floor. So he always wants his back off of the mat and the far shoulder and hip off the floor. So we're always looking to get past the knees and then control the far shoulder and then the far hip, okay? And keep those on the mat. Um, after that, we're always looking to extract the knee of the trapped leg then ultimately we extract the foot of the trapped leg and then we solidify the pass. So that's kind of like the order of operations that we go through. So you, when, wherever you are on half guard, you have to think about what you've achieved and then go in and think about what the next step is. So for example, if I'm, I'm in here with my opponent and I have a half guard, first I have to get past my opponent's knees. Okay, so I can never have their knees in front if I want it to be a good position for me. This is going to be much better for him. So I need to get over the knees and I need to make some sort of control of my opponent's head and shoulder, okay? As I start going in and controlling the head and shoulder, that's what enables me to be able to pin the far shoulder and hip down to the floor. So my upper body grips control his upper body and that pins the shoulder on the mat, and my lower body is what's gonna go in and make sure that his uh, hip is controlled. The next thing is always gonna be for me to somehow go through and extract the knee of the trap leg. Don't try to pass right away. Just try to get your knee free and get it into a position where now he can only hold on to my ankle, and then ultimately we extract the ankle and the foot, and then once the foot's extracted, then we go about solidifying the pass, looking to nullify his last stitch efforts at recovering, and then from there, go in, we get to our points and get to our dominant positions, okay? So uh, just a quick rundown, quick little overview of kind of what the goals are, what's that order of operations that we, that we, uh, that we use when we're passing half guard, um, so that way you guys know, one, how can I make this position bad for him and good for me, favorable for me, make it so that he's, you know, expending a lot of energy and he's in a position where, you know, you've pinned him and getting the pass at the end is going to be, uh, very easy. Okay. But if you don't do these things, then half guard can be a very good position for the person on bottom. So again, um, depending upon the criteria that's met for both players, it could be a good position for either one. So we're looking to meet, we're looking to achieve these little small goals, win these small battles, and then ultimately the big battle, which is getting to the guard pass, getting to a dominant position, is going to be easily won if we can do these things.